Alexey, uh, you've been working as a workshopper for a really, really long time. How did you decide to start developing items for Dota? Oh, actually, it was um, for the Dota competition on a website called Polycount. And they said, hey guys, why don't you all make items for Dota 2? And then the winners get put into the game and you get all this recognition. And I was like, I have, I have lots of free time. Why don't I do this? And I had no idea about Dota. So I entered the competition and I started playing Dota. And like, I hated it. I hated it. I was like, I'm so angry. This game's so, so hard. But then I kept, kept playing and then I just wanted to keep making items. And so I think I made like five item sets during that two month competition. And I was just addicted. Are you playing a lot of Dota now? Um, not right now, because I'm on, I've been on like traveling for the last like four weeks. But uh, when, I, and when I'm at home, I try and play every day. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about your traveling. Uh, you've been attending a lot of uh, LAN tournaments everywhere, in Europe, in the United States, but you're from Australia, which is far away from everything. <laughs> Isn't it hard for you to travel that much? Uh, because it's, it's exhausting, I guess, and it's not cheap, actually. No, it's not cheap, but uh, I saved up all year, and we said we're going to go to TI, and then um, the ESL was announced, and MLG was announced, and then it was cancelled, and then DreamHack. It was kind of all around the same time, and then TI was announced, and we're like, let's just do it. Let's just, like, use up all this money that I'd saved up over the year and just, just do it, because we won't be able to do it again. Like, this probably won't happen again with the scheduling. So we said, let's just have a holiday of Dota. You're cheering for Fnatic, right? Why Fnatic? Uh, I just love them. Like, the boys are just so great. Um, they came to me really early in my Dota 2 item career and they said can you make us some items for our team and I said I'm not really interested in that right now but I'll cheer for your team because I'm just getting into competitive Dota and this was before DreamHack winner 2012 so I said I'll cheer for you guys at DreamHack and then yeah it just I just got hooked and it's always fun to like have one team that you're like really passionate about when you're trying to get into a sport because then you like really get into it yeah, you're a big friend of that team, right? Yeah, I mean, you have your own hoodie. And... Yeah, yeah, they um, they gave me. Big Daddy picked out my own hoodie, and he's like, "Here, take this. You like it?" And I'm like, "Yes, Big Daddy hoodie." So. Yeah, unfortunately, they have, for now, almost lost the chances to qualify. But yeah. Well, um, and I have one one more question from our caster, Casper. He's a big fan of Dota items, so he was just um, asking me. Um, the question, where are you going to stop using feathers in your <laughs> items? <laughs> uh, well, I've started, I've started like removing them slightly, but I always love adding them in. They're just, I don't know, they just do so much with so little. But yeah, I, I'm not, I don't actually, when I'm making the feathers, I don't actually enjoy it. You, you'll see me on stream just going, why am I making feathers? This is the worst idea ever. But in the end, they always like, they just bring something else to it, I think. But not all designs. I try not to all the time. I am I am more creative than just adding feathers. I like to hope so. Okay, I think you'll be satisfied with the answer. Well, um, thank you. Have we wish you to have fun here to enjoy international. How do you like it so far? Oh, it's amazing. This whole VIP experience is great. Like and and all the VIPs are really nice. They're they're just polite. They. It's got Darud Sandstorm and then it's just. Why? Okay. <laughs> yeah, thank you for chatting with me. So, yeah, good luck. Good luck in your job and uh, have fun here. <laughs>